Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to check out the new features to the Color OS 11 October beta update on our Find X2 Pro. One of the things that I'm really, really excited is FlexDrop and it's finally here. This is TK and this is the Color OS 11 running Find X2 Pro. Once you're signed up into the beta, you're able to basically download the updates. And again, this is the October update that got pushed out directly to our device. You go under software update and you'll be able to download it. And of course, it'll give you kind of like a change log of what's going on. I'll give it a second because it's checking in to see if there's any additional updates available. Uh, but once it's done, essentially, you just install it, restart your device. And again, this is the current version of it. Uh, the main benefit that we got in October was a speed up. So you'll notice here how the device is actually a lot faster. And I got somebody on Twitter that asked me, it's like, TK, are you speeding up your footage on the Find X2 Pro or is this exactly how the phone works? No, this is exactly how the phone works and it actually is very, very fast. It was already fast to start with, but adding on top of it ColorOS 11, it's even faster. Now, the thing that we wanna obviously cover is that ColorOS 11 features all of the new features, the benefits that we get with Android 11. Uh, we have customizable options here. We get many different options. We have three different dark modes. We have the ability of using custom icon packs so you can actually jump in here and select which icon pack you wanna be able to use. You don't have to use just the standard one. Uh, and the other option that I really liked about here is the ability of actually combining folders. I don't know if you've ever had to try that in the past, but an example would be here. I have the social folder here, and let's say I want to be able to combine it with my Google folder. It automatically adds the applications that I had before, puts them in here, and it merges both folders together. So unfortunately, we don't have folder in folder, but definitely looks really nice. But that's not the flex drop thing. That's one of the new features that came with it. Uh, but I definitely want to share with you guys, of course, obviously we have the power menu that initiates the assistant. And of course, you have the new power control centers that are also built in here with the new restart and setting option. But let's go ahead and start talking about this new feature. So let's go ahead and open up Instagram. Instagram is an application. I'll go ahead and bring it up. You notice now there's a little button on the bottom left. If I bring this down and click on it, it opens it up in a flex drop. This is the new option that they have. I'm still able to interact with it. So I'm able to actually switch over, go back. There's nothing different about it here. But what I really like about it is I'm actually able to make it into a pop-up window that sits on the top part of my screen. Now, on Instagram in this mode, I can't interact with it, but if I touch it, it'll go back to full screen where it gets really nice and functional. And let's say I open up TikTok, I'll go ahead and open up to a new one. I'll bring it down here and I'm gonna go ahead and make it into a window. So let's go ahead and bring it up to the top. You notice that the video stays and it keeps playing even though I'm actually going through the UI and changing different things. So that part is pretty nice. So if you're watching a video or in any application that does that, it'll work fine. And so you're able to basically watch the video and even better what you can actually do it here. Now, I know YouTube supports this automatically, but if we go into full screen mode, so let's go ahead and jump into full screen. And now let's bring up the functionality here. So swipe up again and bring it into flex drop. So now the window actually sits here and it actually runs much bigger than what you're now being able to get. Touch one more time. And at this point, I'm just gonna keep it into pop-up window. It sits right there. And of course, this one actually works pretty much the same. You're able to leave the video playing there. And now you're able to give applications that normally don't have pop-up functionalities, a pop-up option here. The new flex drop function is built in. You don't need to do anything other than just literally open it up, go into an application, swipe up. You'll notice it's sitting right there, floating window, you open it up. And of course you interact with it, hold it, to be able to bring it into pop-up window. Now you're able to jump into this mode right away from the beginning. So if I open up Instagram, go up and then swipe down to the right, it jumps over automatically for us and it gets us into the same mode. It's really exciting to be able to see new features added to ColorOS 11. Um, let me know in the comments below, are you guys running the beta? Did you check it out? What do you guys think about it? If you'd like to see a full detailed version, well, a video that covers all of the new features in ColorOS 11, I posted that one not that long ago. Uh, mostly today's video is pretty much focusing on the flex drop and of course, uh, folder combination, which I didn't show in the first video. So again, thank you very much for the support. Like and subscribe and share this video. I'll see you guys next time.